We now head to Nigeria, the economic powerhouse of Africa, a former British colony that is about to have an economic decolonization, a partial one anyway. After almost 90 years, nine decades, Shell is selling its oil drilling business on Nigerian soil. This is the second largest oil company in the world, second only to Exxon Mobil. And Shell finally has an exit plan in order. It is selling off its onshore business in Nigeria for about $1.3 billion up front and $1.1 billion in additional payments. This deal is for a number of assets, including Shell's existing facilities and 18 oil mining leases. The reserves are big, estimated at about $458 million of million barrels of oil equivalent. 458 million, which translates to a lot of money, way more than what Shell is selling it for. So why are they selling? From the company's perspective, the Nigerian onshore business was a liability. Let me tell you why. In 2008, there were two major oil spills. Tens of thousands of barrels of oil were spilled. Locals sued Shell for millions of dollars. In 2015, the company paid the claimants $83 million. In 2021, it paid more than $110 million. The United Nations has asked Shell to clean up its mess. The process is likely to last 30 years and cost over a billion dollars. Local environmental groups have also been after Shell with numerous lawsuits over the oil spills. And not just for the big incidents, for smaller spills as well, regular ones that occur due to theft. People keep stealing oil from Shell's Nigerian operations. And this results in frequent smaller oil spills, which Shell then has to clean up. The oil giant also faces sabotage attempts by locals who want the company to share its wealth and help make up for the damage it caused. So the problems seem unending. And all of this got too much for Shell, which is why they want out of the Nigerian onshore business. They've been trying to do this for about two years, and now they've finally got their buyers, a consortium of five companies. Four of them are local firms, meaning more of the oil wealth would stay in Nigeria. But it's not exactly a steal for this consortium. These new owners will have to fix the mess that Shell is leaving behind. They will have to assume responsibility for the cleanup work while Shell gets to walk away. It will no longer drill on the Nigerian mainland, or in shallow waters near the Niger River Delta. But that wasn't their most profitable venture anyway. Shell won't leave Nigeria completely. This is Africa's largest oil producer after all. The company will just exit the mainland. It will continue to operate in the deep sea, in the Gulf of Guinea. And this mining is more profitable and less at risk from theft or sabotage. Shell also has other businesses in Nigeria. It has a gas supply firm a solar power unit, and stakes in liquefied natural gas or LNG. So Shell's logo will still be seen in Nigeria after this, but with the sale of the onshore business, a major problem will be dealt with. A problem for both the company and the locals. There's just one last step, approval from the Nigerian government. After that, both Shell and the locals can end their troubled relationship.